Sean Tatel, FightHype.com, here with the Italian stallion himself, Phil Logreco. What's up, guys? How are you? Well, I, I gotta say, man, I just saw some great sparring. You and Jesse Vargas, that was, that's the stuff people pay to see, you know? Yeah. Uh, what do you think of Jesse heading into his fight with Adrian Broner next month? Yeah, I think Jesse's a very smart fighter, and he does have good punching power. People underestimate his power. I like his power. I think... Uh, it's underestimated. Usually, when you an underestimated power shot is a powerful shot, and I think he has a very good chance of Broner. And it's like me catching Amir at the right time. He's catching Broner at the right time. So boxing is about timing, and he's gonna do very good actually. Uh, we're both helping out each other. That's what brothers do, you know. We help each other out. We're training in the same gym. And that's what boxing is about. It's a friendly sport. We're, it's a gentleman's sport in the end. Now, obviously, you know, sparring is different than a full-fledged fight, but uh, you fought the best. So how does his power, if you could compare it to Spence well, and sparring, Well, we're wearing 16-ounce gloves, so it wouldn't be fair to judge that. But, you know, anybody at this high level can punch decent, you know, because your mindset is different, your technique is different, your motivation is different. So even if you're not naturally strong, you get that driving force regardless because of your, that experience that you have and the will to win. Now, now you mentioned he might be catching Broner at the right time. How much of that is, is the physical with Broner that you see or is it more of a mental thing with Broner? You, or... Broner was broken down from uh, Maidana. Ever since then, if you look at it, I'm, I'm, all about, I'm all about the mind and psychological warfare. Look at his interviews after the Maidana fight. Not as confident, not as cocky. Tries to be the same, tries to play the same card, but he's not. So well, that's one thing I picked up is like, you look at the interviews before the Maidana fight, all cocky, all confident. Look at the interviews after the Maidana fight. He's trying to persuade that personality again, but he knows deep down inside to score, he doesn't have it. So you think it's more of a false bravado now? We're yeah, just like Amir. Just like Amir, same thing. Now, same thing. Now what about when you? What about physically though? Do you do you think the speed's the same as it was before Maidana and all those kinds of things, or that's taking a hit too? Well, I think I'm not really looking at that. Right. Like the speed or the physical attribute at this level, it's all about mental. Believe it or not. Uh, Physicality, it helps. Yes, you know, remember, he's not even 30 years old, so there's no reason why he should, uh, his speech should uh, deflate or his power. Now, with, with Khan, so is it is it the same kind of thing with Khan? You, you're just looking at him mentally and seeing your catch I just look at him mentally as a season. I just, I can sense people's personality pretty good. Mm -hmm. He's just a brilliant salesman. And I mean that in the most positive way. Like, I'm not trying to make fun of him. He's a good salesman. He knows how to sell ideas and sell uh, situations to, to, his, to, to his fans. And his fans buy it. So, I just think I'm here after the Canelo fight. He's had a lot of drama in his mind. And mentally, he's fucking himself over a lot. I'm a big fan. I'm still a big fan, regardless if I'm fighting him. Uh, I respect him as a fighter. Uh, and after the fight, I will respect him as a person as well. What, what about yourself mentally right now? Uh, c compare your, your confidence and, and the drive and the hunger and the confidence to when your first go round. Uh, you know, well, the thing is that with me, I had a lot of layoffs due to the fact that I had the wrong people always uh, guiding my career. And ever since I took charge of myself, in the last couple of years, I've done better than ever. Financially, especially uh, getting the right fights. Uh, I signed with Al Heyman. Uh, Sam Watson, he definitely helped me out a lot. Uh, you know, I, I, all those guys, uh, everything. And mentally, because I've had so many years of layoffs, I think I'm still, it's, this fight is a measuring stick for me as well to tell me where I stand in the elite level. If all these years of inactivity, are gonna catch up to me, or maybe save me. Uh, but I know for sure, I never had so much to get ready, so much time to get ready, I'm training happier, I'm waking up in the morning at 6 a.m., you know, we're doing a lot of old school uh, training, and my mother, my father, and my brother, they always told me, goes, wake up in the morning, go run, smell the fresh air. I don't know what that meant until I came here, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. Are you, are you thinking just 100% knockout for this fight with, with how, you know, with Khan's pass and everything? Are you not thinking so much about winning a decision, no, winning rounds? I'm just, I'm going for the knockout. Uh, I made, I will make, even at the, I'm hoping he sees this video, I made a, an offer to him. 
because he said when he threw the water at me, he said uh, in previous interviews he wanted to show who was boss. Well, this is a chance for him to show me who's boss. April 21st, I'll make a deal with him. Meet me in the center of the ring till one of us gets knocked out, and there's no shame in that because this is boxing and Sparta sport. There's no shame. There's nothing to to laugh at. This is a serious sport. I know he's gonna be in shape. I know I'm gonna be in the best shape ever. Let's just meet in the center of the ring. Let's uh, uh, fight till one of us gets knocked out. And then after we bury the hatchet, and I start season two of Culinary Fighter with uh, some chicken tikka masala. <laughs> and then uh, anything else you wanna say, Phil, before uh, yes. let's go? Yes, guys, please subscribe to my channel, Culinary Fighter on YouTube. I got my own version of 24-7. Uh, forget the other networks. The party is over here at Culinary Fighter YouTube channel. Every Thursday, uh, we have uh, our, my vlog comes out and get to know me. I mean, it's sad. It sucks in the way that the boxing world is getting to know me now, 33 years old, but better late than never. All right, thanks, Phil, man. Really Thank looking you. forward to the fight with Khan, especially because, like you said, you're coming for a knockout, and that always brings fireworks. Thank so. you. Appreciate it. Ciao, guys. Thanks, man.